Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome back to the Battle for Wesnoth, specifically the Secrets of the Ancients campaign. Last time, we fought against Kralanu, where we came to bargain, and bargain we did. We got him to Death's Door, where he told us some stuff about why the book had been sent to the elves, and apparently that was all we needed to know, and Adrana and Raz Taban ended up fleeing into the cave. So, before we get started into the next scenario, I want to just make some quick announcements. Um, for those of you that did not meet, see my community post, because I have no idea how much reach this the actual community post has, since I've only made a single one, um, I have two things to say. First of all, if you're not in the Discord, I would recommend joining the Discord if you want to talk with me and your fellow viewers. And additionally, because anything that I poll, such as what campaigns I'm going to do, if you have suggestions and other exciting things like what I'm going to get into next, all happen over on the Discord. Um, there will be a link to the Discord in the video description. Uh, but very quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Discord real quick. We're going to say don't switch. Um, and some pretty exciting developments here. We are working on, well, me and a group of people in the Discord are beginning work on a Battle for Wesnoth campaign in a similar vein to Dead Water. So Dead Water was a campaign I covered on my channel. It's a merman focused campaign, and it's one that I really, really enjoyed and is my favorite campaign that the game has to offer in Mainline. So we have decided that we are going to go ahead and make a new campaign. So in the dev announcements channel and campaign development, or in the campaign development category, I have a big um, write-up about, you know, what is what are we doing in this campaign? What kind of work needs to be done? What would working on the project look like? Um, if you want reasons to work on the project, here's some are. How do you sign up? Uh, we have a number of roles here where we're saying, hey, if you are interested in working on one of these four teams, uh, then just react with those. You can react with however many you want if you want to be on multiple teams. And then I'm going to be adding you to some of our private channels here where we are going to be planning and um, actually working on the or discussing our work on the campaign. This started just a few days ago as of the time of this recording. I think it was Thursday that I set it up. And Saturday, a.k.a. the day I'm actually recording this, um, I just set up a big GitHub repo and starting to get things together. So if you want to join this pretty exciting initiative, if you're interested in working on a campaign with me and some of your other viewers, then uh, I'd say go ahead and join the Discord, react to this if you want to. And otherwise, we're going to keep you guys updated with the progress of the campaign in the Dev Announcements channel. So without further ado, back to the game. Let's go ahead and end this scenario. Not far inside the cave was a ruined castle built in a style I did not recognize. Rastaban said, Dwarves. It is infested with rats, and clearly no dwarves have lived here for a long time. Here we are up in the Heart Mountains. Just a little farther. Audrina, I'm dying. <coughs> I don't think I can stop it. Nor should you. You must embrace it, Quilanu said as much. He also said your life force must depart, but he didn't say it could not come back to you. What are you proposing? That you protect your will, project your will into another object so that it is part of you. Your staff, for example. If you do this just as your body dies, your whole consciousness should follow the flow of your will, as it will have no other place to go. Well, it could lead, it could go to the lands of the dead. But if I had an altar, the stone would serve to anchor me. <coughs> to this plane and stop the downward flow of my soul for just a moment. And a moment is all you need. You only need project your will back into your body, animating it as you would anything else. You seem more sure than I, but <coughs> I have no choice. Quilanu said he wouldn't do it. That implies that he could, so he also believed that it would work. And like you said, he should know. For now, you can rest. We'll have an altar built soon. 
goat skeletons build in the altar, Krilanu on the altar. No no need for you to wait to die. We can have it done with we can have done with it immediately. And although neither of us need speak the incantations aloud anymore, you should this time, as any mistake would be disastrous. Yes, I'm ready. Do it. Axe to the chest. To become a lich, one must first die. The spells of necromancy bind the spirit, but only once it has been unbound from the body. To become a lich, the mage must make the necessary incantations with his dying breaths. He thus binds his own spirit in much the same way he binds the spirits of others. An altar serves to hold his soul in the physical plane, long enough to make the transition, and a suitable object must be found to hold the consciousness for one crucial moment when the body expires. So, Rastaban is now undead. In the beginning, his health was not much improved, and he complained of being cold. His life force was weak, but he was able to absorb life from the rats infesting the ancient castle. Now, he is more strong and vigorous than I have ever seen him. This is despite the fact that his flesh is starting to rot away, a process that causes him no discomfort. Nor can he smell it any more than I can. If all continues to go well, I will make the transition soon myself. Now, the process is complete for both of us. I posted a guard so nothing could happen to me in my weakened state, and nothing did. I am restored. I don't feel much different, but I suppose I look a fright. Ah, well, it can't be helped. But my primary goal is achieved. I cannot die. I suppose I could be broken apart like a skeleton, or maybe burned, but I do not have to fear these unlikely events. I have the awesome powers of the spirit realm flowing through me and can protect myself quite adequately. My next goal is to share my knowledge with the world so that no one need die. So we can now advance dark sorcerers to liches, and for the rest of the campaign, we can also right-click on an existing necromancer to turn it into a lich as long as it is in a castle. If the necromancer has gained enough experience, it will immediately level into an ancient lich. Nice, and ancient lich we do have in Adrin Na. We have conquered death. Let us bring the news back to Wesnoth. We should let them know that nobody need ever die again. I was planning to go that direction myself, so I have no objection. But let us not go over those wretched mountain passes again. These tunnels should connect to the realm of Nalga and take us there directly. Why would the Dwarvish Empire abandon an outpost like this? We may soon find out. We should proceed cautiously. Move to the west end of the cave. That could be a bit of a struggle. So, make into a lich. Boom, we got liches, lads. Now, let's go ahead and recall some specters. I sort of have... Why is there no sound? Why do I have no sound for the game? I do not understand. There should be sound. Let me check my recording settings. Desktop audio. Audio output capture. That is not the one I want. I don't know. If it continues to persist. I had it, and now sound's gone. Maybe it's actually there in the recording, and for whatever reason I can't just hear it through my headphones. But if it isn't, I apologize. Okay, so I do kind of have an idea of what this scenario is about. Um... We're going to be fighting a lot of spiders, if I recall correctly. I've not actually played the scenario, I just have an idea. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recall our specters, because specters are very good against spiders. And we're also... Banebows are in theory good against spiders, however their nets are in... Or their webs are an impact attack, and they slow. So in reality, not that amazing. Now, death knights would be pretty decent, and I'm also thinking I'm going to have a lot of wraiths as well. I'd like to try and level. Now, additionally, we want to get our Necromance Force because Liches are going to be pretty incredible. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Make into a Lich. Make into a Lich. There we go. We got Lich City, lads. Five Liches, five Liches, one of them an Ancient Lich. That's what we want. Never mind, we have another Lich. Ba -ba -ba. 
There we go. Six sliches. One of them an ancient lich. That's what we're talking about. Okay. So we have 147 gold. Um, we're going to want to capture that. I can do that with my leader, actually, which is good. And we're going to recruit a wraith. Gonna recruit a wraith, maybe another wraith. Now these guys, oh, okay. There's a bunch of roads here. That's not. That's pretty good. We're gonna recruit a death knight, and death knight would be pretty good against a spider, I would think. We're gonna recruit another death knight. We're going to recruit a bat. We're not going to recall one. We're just going to recruit one for scouting purposes. I think maybe I'll recruit a night gaunt in case we need to assassinate. Well, no, nah, we shouldn't. Night gaunt, yes or no? Uh, maybe. We're also, we had a request to rename a unit after one of my subscribers. So we're going to do that. And he would like the Lich to turn into an Eternal Lich. If I if I am given that option, I will go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if I will be, so we're gonna we're gonna find out. Minus twenty three, looking very nice. <laughs> uh, I think we'll recruit any next units next turn. Leaders to here. Oh, okay. You're gonna go that way. I see another one over there. You're going to go that way. You're going to go up to here. You are going to go over here. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Okay. Go ahead and end the turn. Oh. There's a little side path, is there? Well, let's first things first, let's scout ahead with the bat. Aha! They're not moving much. Hopefully they continue to stay sleepy. Yeah, well, uh, I don't imagine that's going to be happening anytime soon. 10-3 web range impact. Yeah, it's not fun. Not fun at all. Now, ghosts, these specters are going to be very good against them. They can't move very far. Still only have one movement point because they're sleeping. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. I think we'll have... We could send the major main force here. We could also send... We could keep sending that ghost down that way. He's going to go capture that. Adrenal will send back. Um, you need to go back. We need to recruit a unit... Let's go ahead and recruit a uh, second bat. Do we want another bat? We could just recruit. We'll just recruit another wraith, to be honest. If we can get him some XP at some point, that would be nice. And then we'll finish off with another bat. Okay. You're going to move forward here. You're going to move forward. Spectres forward. Healers forward, Liches forward, Death Knights forward. You're going to go that way. Oh boy. Yep, that's looking fun. Okay, we'll send this ghost back now, actually. Oh, it's not quite what I wanted to do. We'll put this guy over here. This ghost will come back. We'll let the bat cap that. Looks like it's going to be coming around this way. You are going to go cap that. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro. Wow. Ah. Okay. That is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. 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 
Yep, I see what's going on here. I am picking up what you're putting down. Continue to scout. Ta-da! Okay, no one else. Spectres are going to need to hold up the front line here. We're definitely going to need healers behind them. Well, our only one healer. Adrena, get the Lich Army on the move. Didn't lose anyone else. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of spiders. You're going to go that way. That way. You're going to come this way. All right, Bat. You're going to come cap this. And you guys are just going to be a nuisance. So they can only attack two at a time, which is nice. They're probably going to go with a ranged impact attack, if I had to guess. Our ghosts have 50% impact and 50% to blade. So not too terrible. If they go in with their fangs, hopefully they don't kill. But in theory, it is possible. Death Knight here. Lich is here. Huh. Yeah, it would be kind of nice to send people around, although the spiders are splitting. I think we can just hold them in the choke. I think we should be able to. We got our healer here. Have a nice big pile up. Put him over there. wonder if that leads anywhere. I don't think it does, but hard to say. Maybe it does. Okay, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Okay, you're going to get healed. You are coming. You are coming. You are slowed, good sir. So let us analyze what's going to be going on here. 22. Oh my word. 20 to 2? What? Do let's just not have... They're skeletons, aren't they? Wow, okay. They have very little resistances for being skeletons. That's interesting. Twenty nine turns. Battle axe. Kya. Kya. Yeah. Yeah. Good work, sir. Bane blade. Not a great start. <laughs> yep. Um, that could be a good buy coming in nice and hot, to be honest. That is a sad day right there. We'll distract them with the bats. Aha! Well, come on. Come on, buddy, just heal. Yes. Good job, bat. He's alive. What a miracle. Not slowed anymore. Okay, we're definitely going to have to be a little bit more careful with these units. Yeah. Yeah. Not doing it. Yeah, this is just going to be a lot of cycling, honestly. So this guy is physically unable to die. This guy is currently unable to die. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of cycling. A lot of cycling. Goodbye, bats. It's unfortunate. Now, Lich is right. Yeah, well, we're going to leave it like that. Good job. Oh. Okay, 
was just checking my recording. I heard a weird sound and I was like, uh oh. Okay. So he is slowed. Not great. The 11 to 2 is not optimal. Uh, do I want to risk that? 15 to 3, we'll do that. Okay, maybe not. That did not turn out as planned. I was hoping he would just, you know. Uh, okay, well, we're going to be running on luck once again. All right. Hjalt is alive. <laughs> oh, boy. This is not quite going according to plan here. We have a lot of pullbacks we need to do. You're going back to here. 6-4, you can do it, I believe. Come on. 6-6. Six, six. Nice. Okay, you're going to here. You're just going to sit there and heal them. That spider's just healing. That's annoying. Statistics. We've killed one. One spider down. This is going to be a war of attrition is what it's going to be. This guy needs to move farther. Okay. Do I want to attack with him? I'm thinking not. I am thinking not. Now, if we move him here, we could move him here, him here, and him here. Yeah, that's a bit better. Good job, buddy. Okay, more healing. Good work. You're going to go to here. You have 21. It's a little dangerous. Hmm. We're going to do, well, no, we can't quite do that, actually. Over to here, you're going to go to there. You are going to come over here with 25. Go for 7 4. Okay, hopefully they live, but you never know, to be honest. Cycle our healing. Good job, buddy. Oh, sad. Okay. Yeah, this is a war of attrition, that's for sure. The 11-3 is pretty nasty. It's too risky. I'm okay taking a slight risk with you. Just want to get my Death Knights back in commission here. She's got 84. Her resistances are probably very similar, right? Yeah, the impact's not great. 22 to 2 is just super nasty because she would be taking the full 22 from each, which is brutal. Are you slowed still? You are slowed. Sad. 
wondering maybe I should send like a flanking force to deal with the spider one of the spiders good work sir hey everyone so when I finished recording the entire scenario, it ended up being about 50 minutes long, so I decided to cut it up into two 25-minute segments, the first of which you are seeing today, and the second of which you will see next week. So I do apologize for those that wanted to see the whole thing in one sitting. I felt like 50 minutes was a little bit too long. I prefer to split it into two, so that's what I decided to end up doing. But regardless, I also apologize for the audio issues. I don't know what happened. I was like sitting down to record. The audio was coming through fine. And then I started recording and then the audio like died. And I wasn't sure if it was something on Streamlabs end where I just wasn't getting it through my headphones. If my mic was kind of mucked and it wasn't coming through my headphones for whatever reason. I thought it might still be there. Unfortunately, it's not. And that is going to carry over into next week's episode. So I do apologize to that. But the way the scenario played out was really cool. It was really down to the wire, which you'll see next week, and I did not want to re-record it. So I do apologize once again for the audio issues. I'll try and have that fixed for the next time I release a video that's not next week since it was a continuation of this episode that's releasing today. Regardless, last thing. If you would like to help out with the campaign that me and a bunch of subscribers are making, you can check the description for the link to the Discord. You can hop in into the Dev Announcements channel, read the blurb about it, see if it's really something you want to help uh, help make. And if you do, you can react with some of these roles, and then I'll add you to the respective teams, and you'll get access to all of these channels where you can help um, do various parts of the campaign. But again, this is a this is a passion project. This is not something that, you know, I'm going to be enforcing like strict work limits on. Like, you guys need to get two hours or what the heck is this code so sloppy? You're going to friggin' fire you. And what the heck's going on with the map design? This is terrible, you know. Like, we're just a group of people that want to make something really cool. It's a passion project. It's not something we're going to be pouring hours on and into. So, yeah. If you want to help out, even if it's in a limited capacity, you can go ahead and react with these roles and I'll add you in. Otherwise, if you just want to stick around to see updates or if you'd like to um, if you'd like to play the final result when it comes out, you can do that just fine as well. So yeah, with all that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.